So you had a very interesting debate on heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Should we go with ACE inhibitors or ARNI is going to replace ACE inhibitors? So sir, what is the current uh, place on therapy of ACE inhibitors in management of heart failure, sir? Look, so far we are, we were rather convinced with the efficacy of ACE inhibitor in reducing mortality in heart failure. Yes, sir. And when, whether we added beta blocker or, or beta blocker plus angiotensin receptor blocker, ACEI always remains, remains the mainstay of therapy. Correct. Now, in fact, came the ARNI, angiotensin receptor, nepridicin inhibitor, Correct. a drug ARNI, ARNI has come. And it has a better, it has an impact on, on uh, mortality and hospitalization over and above, above, above enalapril. Correct. But thing is that I believe that when enalapril could not demonstrate any efficacy, has, has demonstrated efficacy on mortality and ARB could not demonstrate any efficacy on mortality, then why enalapril was not used and why ARB was used with secubitril in ARNI inhibition, Correct, in, ARNI, in ARNI. I think the combination of enalapril plus secubitril would have been a better drug and it could have been achieved much more spectacular results if we combine enalapril with secubitril, not ARB with secubitril. I believe the choice of enalapril was, uh, of, of choice of valsartan was only because it is, it is industry sponsored trial and valsartan is a, is a molecule of the industry who is sponsoring the trial. Correct. So, it is in fact not the, it, it is more a, a selection bias from the industry, not a scientific obligation, scientific obligation. So still, uh, do does ACE inhibitor remains the gold standard in these patients, sir? Yes, I believe that ACE inhibitor should be combined with secubitril. Should not ARB should be combined combination with secubitril. The patients who are on ACE inhibitor, is there any indication to replace them with ARNI or we should continue with ACE inhibitor? Yes, sir? if we believe that with ACE inhibitors we are not able to control the symptoms and or control the frequent hospitalization. In that case, we we can go to to replace that as it is as it is advised by ESC, ESC recommends. Right, but sir. ESC recommends that it should be done, it should be immediately replaced by uh, that. Correct, correct. But I believe that it is a first track mechanism it was. The, the, the paradigm HF study was released in 1914, FD approval in, in, in 2014, 2015 and it is a guideline recommended in 2016. Correct. It was two fast track mechanisms. It this was is, fast track. It yes. is a fast track mechanism, and I think there was some extraneous, external influence on, on this fast track mechanism. This is my belief. Right. My belief. Right. Otherwise, there is no reason to go for such a fast track mechanism in doing everything in favor yes. of it. Yes. Yes. So ARBs have never been able to show mortality benefit in heart failure patients. No. But ACE inhibitors have yes, shown, so yes, sure. I think it is a very relevant uh, point that ACE inhibitor could have given better, better outcomes results, when better they outcome, could have been yes, combined yes, with secubitril. Yes, if we consider science. Yes, yes, scientifically it looks yes. definitely like that. And uh, I don't think uh, any company is working on manage, uh, producing ACE inhibitor like enalapril combination with secubitril, but definitely they could have better outcome theoretically. It, it will not come because uh, Enalapril is not a patented drug now. Correct, correct. So who will give, give you the fund to combine enalapril with Correct, correct, correct. Scarcity correct. of fund, scarcity of science. True, 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 true.